Man has proven that it's nearly impossible to go through life without a scrape or a cut. I believe the medical terms are owie and boo-boo. Now technology is stepping in to speed the heel. Luckily, there are researchers that have a fixation on the duration of your laceration. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to explain. Recovery from a serious injury can be an agonizing process. The pain of a wound or a broken bone is one thing, but changing dressings, applying medications, sometimes on an hourly basis, only adds to the discomfort. Well, imagine a new radical idea for a bandage, one that feels like your own skin, monitors your wound's condition, and is a conduit for healing medications. A group of graduate engineering students at MIT, led by Professor Xuanhe Zhao, came up with the idea while experimenting with substances called hydrogels. Hydrogel is a kind of material that has a lot of water and it's solid. The most common example is contact lenses. They are soft, they can be put in the eye. Most hydrogels are weak. They will break really easily. So the first challenge was to develop a material that is still biocompatible, human-friendly, and can be stretched. I traveled to MIT in Cambridge, Massachusetts to meet with Herman Parada, one of the grad students striving to heal your body faster with the first ever hydrogel bandage. So what does the hydrogel bandage actually look like? It's two parts, right? So this is the first part, which is the actual hydrogel. And here's how it looks like. It's like jellyfish. In water. Yeah, it is very soft, oh, wow. has a lot of water. It's oh, wow. cold. It's very cold. <laughs> but this is mostly water, though. Correct. Right now, it's probably 90% water by weight. Mm. And now, What's the innovation here? Most of the hydrogels, jello, contact lenses, they're brittle. You mm -hmm. cannot stretch them, they will break. So see how you can play with it? Mm -hmm. You can put it around, it will wrap around. So you developed this hydrogel, found that you could make it very, very pliable, and then you decided, okay, let's try to figure out what we can do with this. Correct, yes, okay. yes, yes. The second component is where we put the sensors and the channels to deliver drugs. The MIT team made molds that form a pliable, silicone-based component. A second layer for channels to carry liquids or hold sensors and electronics that are combined with a hydrogel section to form a complete hydrogel bandage. So this is the finished bandage product. So as you see, it has two layers, which uh -huh. has a hydrogel and a silicone if you look from the side. Uh, okay. And you can see also the channels. Oh, channels, okay. Yes. How we envision it using it is when you have a wound, it just yeah. gets placed here and then deliver drugs as you need. Herman used a dye to demonstrate how medicine can be delivered into the bandage, where it can then be absorbed by the skin naturally with no needles or IVs. Eventually in the future, we wanted to have automated in the sense that the sensors mm -hmm. will exactly deliver and tell when to deliver a drug, when to like stop delivering a drug. Hmm. And I, I gotta say, it, it just feels very natural. You do forget that it's there. And that's what we want to do, and that's why we're using soft materials and hydrogel, because they feel so much like the human skin and so much like our muscles. Once sensors are added, they can monitor things like body temperature, pulse rates, and blood sugar levels. Herman and his colleagues have proven the concept works. So what's the next step? The next step is to talk to doctors and people in the medical field to really understand what are the requisites that they have, and for them to help us develop and improve our designs to match certain specific conditions. With the promise of hydrogel bandages in our future, look for more weekend warriors to get out there and do what they do best, or worst.